Hey there folks, Dakota Jackson here today for another 5 Minute Friday. And I'm going to be talking about something that's pretty exciting to me. You'll see on my screen, I have a tab in Teams called the Template Generator. Now, before I show you exactly what it is, I'm going to talk about it. This is actually a SharePoint framework web part inside of Microsoft Teams that uses the Microsoft Graph API to reach out to Microsoft with the Teams given authentication to tell it, hey, I want to create this team. Now, I know recently Ali talked about Microsoft's Graph and templates and whatnot to you guys in another Five Minute Friday, but this is just showing that SharePoint framework in this beta release works inside of Teams, which is, which is just really exciting. So I'm going to show you this work because that's the fun thing. And then I'll go through the details of how to get it set up. Um, and what's really cool is once Microsoft releases this next version of SharePoint Framework, this will be built in. So there's only one or two steps you have to take further than adding it to your SharePoint site to get it into Teams. You don't have to go and redevelop all of your stuff. Now, there are context things like this color is pulling from my Teams site settings. But I'll show you those things in a minute. So let's go with team name. Test team isn't very cool. Let's do five minute Fridays. And then let's do for team description, let's do come again next week. And then I'm going to add a channel for teams tabs because that's exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and add this channel to the list of channels. It always comes with the general channel. I'm going to post this team. It says it's working on it. And here on the left, you'll actually see it start popping up. See, there we go. So now we've got the general. And it takes a second to churn through. And I've got my one more channel, which is Teams tabs. So. This opens up the opportunity to build SharePoint framework web parts that work inside of Teams and in your, in your SharePoint tenant. So if you'll see here, I've got it too. I'm going to just do this quick. I'm going to post that team, and we'll come back and look at it. But what I want to cover real quick is how simple it is. So with SharePoint framework, you bundle and you add the app to your app catalog. And that's what I did here with this template generator. And we have an Instagram web part. If you guys want that, it's a product. Reach out to us. So once you've got that in here, you've got to go approve whatever permissions that web part needs. This is a standard SharePoint flow for any web parts inside of SharePoint. So I'm reaching into the Microsoft Graph, so I need that approval. Now, on your first time around, You've got to go into the admin center and allow, let's see here. So you've got to go over here to settings and service add-ins. And then you scroll down and you click on the Teams tab here. You can't see it. And I've got this zoomed, so it's a little wonky. But once you click on Teams, you'll see default apps. And you'll see allow sideloading of external apps. And that needs to be on to allow Teams to upload the custom app that I made. And once you've got that done, you take a small file in your SharePoint framework web part called Teams. You zip it. You go into the store. And you let it load. So once you're in the store, you choose Upload a Custom App. And you choose for me and my teams or for your whole group. And so I'm going to choose me and my teams. And it's actually already in there, so I'm not going to upload it. But you'll see I just uploaded this zip file. And what that does is it allows you to go to your team. And I'm going to choose the test team and the general channel and add it right here. And you'll see that I didn't add it for that team. But I did add it for this one. And it's in here. And so this is just a really exciting way 
to use SharePoint framework web parts inside of Teams. You could see it was getting some context information and loading it as it went. This is still in beta. It'll definitely get refined and grow better and better. Um, and I'm really excited to talk about this in the future in Five Minute Fridays, when it's in GA, when we've got more clear demos, when we've got really exciting web parts to show you. I hope you have a good day.